Boston, Bass and Proud. This is ABC Big Two News at 10. Con una ilusión es loca esperanza. Sufre el corazón. We start off the night honoring the life of award-winning artist Vicente Fernandez. In August of this year, Fernandez suffered a serious fall. He was rushed into the hospital and was later connected to a ventilator. His injuries got worse and he never recovered. The legend of regional Mexican music, whose powerful voice immortalized songs such as El Rey and Volver Volver, died this morning. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Martinez. And I'm Rob Tuke. Thank you for joining us tonight. Fernandez was 81 years old. While inspiring new generations of performers like his son Alejandro Fernandez Jr., Fernandez sold more than 50 million records and appeared in more than 30 films. Fans are reacting to the death of the singer saying tonight, that he was a legend and that they will always remember his legacy. We're your weather authority. We warn you first. Here they got literally their roof completely torn off the house. Well, where are they gonna go? Now to the trail of devastation in the Midwest and the South. At least 22 powerful tornadoes tore across Kentucky, Tennessee, Illinois, and several other states. Homes and businesses are leveled in the wake of that storm. And tonight, drone video shows the path of destruction the tornadoes left behind in Mayfield, Kentucky. The governor says at least 80 people have died in his state alone. And now he's calling the storm the most destructive in state history. And the destruction is setting off scramble to find survivors. Some neighborhoods are, have become unrecognizable. Search and rescue efforts are still underway at this hour. And ABC's Rena Roy is on the ground in Mayfield, Kentucky tonight with those latest efforts. Day two of desperate searching, crews racing against the clock to find potential survivors in the mountains of rubble across eight states, where at least 34 reported tornadoes left a path of destruction. We want to focus the next today and the next day on life saving. Uh, we really want to make sure that we find anybody who still might be trapped. The deadly storm system seen from miles away. It was coming right toward us, so I went and got in the basement with, uh, you know, my family and, and, and my pets. And, and uh, hunger down there till it passed by. The small town of Mayfield, Kentucky, hit especially hard. These before and after images showing the widespread devastation. This candle factory completely destroyed. Dozens of workers still unaccounted for. Rescuers facing tough conditions as they sift through the debris for any sign of life. We've got a lot of heavy equipment, a lot of personnel. Uh, we're dealing with tons of steel and metal that's uh, twisted and mangled. Officials say some who are missing may not have been at work or may not have reported themselves safe. Phone lines are down, cell phones are down, people uh, don't have homes to go to. As many as 110 people believed to be inside when the building came crashing down. After we got out, we started pulling the rest of our team out. I found people with broken legs, pulling them out. Some were non-responsive. In Illinois, six people killed in the collapse of this Amazon facility. In Arkansas, at least 20 people trapped inside a nursing home. And those six Amazon workers in Edwardsville, Illinois, were tragically killed after a tornado tore through their warehouse. The tornado ripped off the roof, causing the building to collapse. Ala Airby is in Edwardsville, Illinois, where rescue missions turned into recovering missions last night. At least 45 Amazon employees made it out safely from the rubble of the 500,000 square foot facility, according to Edwardsville Fire Chief. Authorities had given up hope of finding more survivors as they shifted from rescue to recovery efforts that were expected to last days. The Amazon facility was hit a little after 8.30 p.m. Friday. The National Weather Service's survey found EF3 damage. However, the survey is ongoing and the tornado's rating may increase. Officials are waiting to release the names of the victims, but Clayton Cope's mother said she learned her son did not survive. She said he was a maintenance worker here at the facility. The 
the 1st Edwardsville Fire Unit arrived on scene and found approximately 150 yards of the building that had been collapsed. We received multiple reports of people injured, trapped, and deceased. Last night we had a tragic weather event that assumed to be multiple tornadoes that devastated our Amazon facility. There were fatalities. Today, I'm asking you for your thoughts and prayers for the victims and their families. According to the Associated Press, an Amazon spokesperson released a statement on Friday saying, quote, the safety and well-being of our employees and our partners is our top priority right now. We're assessing the situation and we'll share additional information when it becomes available. And we will continue to provide, to provide information as it becomes available to us. President Biden posted on Twitter today saying in part, we are working for, with governors to ensure they have what they need as the search for survivors and damage assessments continue. And storm survivors are picking up the pieces tonight and they're doing it together. ABC's Walt Johnson tells us more on how families and neighbors are staying resilient in the wake of this devastation. As the sun came up across parts of the South and Midwest today, the devastation became clear and overwhelming. Still, in the face of pain and loss, there is resilience and strength. Some, like Carissa Smith, pitching in to clean up debris caused by the storm. Others work together to clear off a car. Countless people offering help to loved ones, to neighbors, and strangers. Emergency officials comforting those who are hurting. Already you've seen neighbors helping neighbors. That's what Kentucky do. One family, lucky to be alive, talked to Reed Yadon, a member of our Louisville station's weather team. You were on FaceTime with your mom. What happened? When it happened. Tell me what happened. It picked me up and threw me out it of the house. It literally threw you out, out of this house, house. Yes. out here. Yes. Also, it threw your mother no, no. out. She's still at the hospital. And she landed start. under this car. Oh, my God. And yes. she's still in a yes. stable condition, we hear. As think. far as I know, okay. she's still stable. Now, you sounded the alarm. You know you got to stay up all night, protect your family. And what did you tell them? It's, it's time to go. It's time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this little guy here. <laughs> He was missing until this morning. Yes, just Their dog, Phoebe, like the rest of the family, also survived. Tonight, this mother and daughter, shaken but grateful. She's alive. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> to stay up to date with more developing news and other top stories, just head to our website, yourbasin.com. Now, your big two forecast first. Well, friends, the weekend came and it went, but before it left us, West Texas were definitely able to enjoy 66 degree temperatures. Usually around this time, West Texans are used to 60 degree temperatures, so six degrees warmer than usual. Our record, though, we did not make it to our 80s like how we were back in 1985, but definitely not too bad whatsoever. Our lows, we did come in a little bit, you know, colder, 31 degrees for our lows. I'll have more of today's forecast later on the show. Back over to you guys. Well, thank you, Bridget. Across Texas tonight, police in Houston arrested a man accused of ambushing and killing a deputy and wounding two others back in October. The three constable deputies were working a police-related extra job when they responded to a robbery call outside of a bar. They were trying to arrest someone when a man with a rifle ambushed them from behind. Tonight, it's still not clear who that suspect is that they arrested. Andy Pecos' man is dead tonight after a single car crash in Ward County. DPS says that driver, 25-year-old Shaden Abia, was killed one mile south of Barstow Saturday night. The investigation shows that Abia was struck, uh, that he struck the center barrier on I-20 and was ejected from the car. He was not wearing a seatbelt. Deputies in Bru Brewster County made the arrest Friday night. The sheriff's office say Carrie Sogood will sap was taken into custody for a death of a neglected dog. She was booked into jail on the charge of cruelty of a non-livestock animal. Racism on social media is causing problems at a Texas school. Coming up after the break, how one student is responding to her classmates. And well, friends, today the Prairie Basin set at cool temperatures, but the sun was shining bright, making it a sunny Sunday. Will tomorrow's sunshine bring West Texans warm temperatures? I'll have the answer after the break. And the Cowboys had a crucial divisional matchup today. We'll show you just how they did. Stay with us. Granbury is a virtual water playground with a sandy city beach, boating and skiing, fishing, 
and everything in between. Bring an appetite for all the sip and savor delights found throughout the air. We hope you come see what is uniquely Granbury. Shop great gifts and Christmas hot deals at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get up to 50% off game tables, up to 50% off hoodies and sweatshirts, and 20% off all fishing combos. These deals end December 12th. Shop at your Academy store at academy.com. We're optimizing your connections. Our new smart Wi-Fi 6 technology powered by Optimum features mesh coverage for a better whole home Wi-Fi experience. Now with an extender included, you'll get Wi-Fi even in those hard to reach places. Stream, work and game faster, all on one powerful mesh Wi-Fi network. Greater whole home coverage is here with smart Wi-Fi 6, now including a free Wi-Fi extender with select internet packages. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. When it's time to sell, choose West Texas' only top 10 national staging company. JT Properties and Staging offers services to homeowners, realtors, builders, and investors by using proven home staging techniques to increase buyer interest. JT Staging helps sellers achieve fast sales with up to 25% higher offers. Contact JT Staging today for a free quote and be staged within a week. Stage today. It's less expensive than your first price reduction. Kathy Eastham Fine Jewelry, celebrating 40 years of extraordinary jewelry. It's primetime's most buzzworthy night on television. I would like to buy an E, please. Shut up, buzzer person! <laughs> Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, tonight on ABC and stream on Hulu. Big two local weather authority forecast. We warn you first. Well, friends, today was one of those days where the sun came out, so as soon as you stepped out, you thought it was going to be warm, but it actually was a little bit cool. But taking a look at our temperature change right now, we're actually 7 degrees warmer in Midland and Odessa, 14 degrees warmer in Big Spring, along with Seminole. And our friends at Perseo, it's always nice and warm. Actually, it's 2 degrees warmer than we were this same time yesterday. And actually, speaking of the Permian Basin's temperatures, our highest temperatures for everyone pretty much sat in the upper 60s. Middle Odessa, 66 degrees. Big Spring, 68. Seminole, 67. And they're actually tied with per, uh, Pecos, where they're always Presidio, where they're always sitting a little bit warmer than usual. But we did have some areas that were in their lower 60s, such as the Guadalupe Pass sitting at 60 degrees. But we did have Fort Stockton sitting at a nice and steamy 73 degrees. So overall, the entire base, you know, pretty much in their upper 60s. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. As we continue on with our evening, very similar to last night. Very nice and clear. Perfect to take a look at the stars. We will be in our 40s though, sitting at 44 degrees. A very cool but also clear kind of evening. So do be sure if you are going to take a look at the stars to have a blanket and even a warm kind of drink. So some hot cider or something kind of festive. As we make our way into the start of our week, we are going to see that we will be sitting at a nice and warm 71 degrees in mid than Odessa by 5 p.m. 72 big spring tied with Seminole as well and then Presidio sitting at 72 as well. So pretty much around 5 p.m. everyone will be sitting in their upper 70s. Not bad at all and actually as we make our way into the week we're going to continue to be in our 70s. I'm actually excited about Wednesday because Wednesday we're going to be sitting at a nice and warm 82 degrees in middle Odessa by the time we get into 4 p.m. So do be geared up for that with you know some shades and all the good fun stuff that comes with it. And then we get into, you know, Thursday midnight and then we cool down just a 
little bit, but just in time for, you know, some really great temperatures for the upcoming weekend. As we start off our Monday, we're going to wake up around 8 a.m., very chilly at 37 degrees, but we get into 4 p.m., and that's when we actually warm up to 72 degrees. Unlike tonight, it's going to be a little bit cloudy tomorrow at a nice and cool 56 degrees. Definitely not bad whatsoever, but I do want to bring our attention, as it is going to be nice out tomorrow, that the winds will be in our faces. We will see them at double digits around 2 p.m., 12 miles per hour, Midland Odessa, 11 miles per hour in Big Spring. It is going to cool off just a little bit, but then continue to be in our faces as we make our way into Tuesday at the highest at 14 miles per hour. Definitely not bad at all. For, you know, with the winds and everything and it being nice outside, the podcaster does read that all the pollen outside is at a low temperature or at a low level. So definitely not bad whatsoever. Do make the most of the start of your week and, you know, just enjoy it. For our kiddos going to school tomorrow, it is going to be a very chilly kind of morning at 37 degrees by 8 in the morning. However, it is going to warm up. By the time that seven day forecast does pop up, it'll show that we won't stay in our 30s for too long. We actually make it to a nice and sunny 74 degrees. And then remember Wednesday when I was talking about that, 80 degrees on Wednesday. Not bad whatsoever. Pretty warm for this time in December. And you know, Rob and Stephanie, I'm you know, the temperature is definitely not bad at all. <laughs> it's really not that bad, but I'm really scared about those winds. My lashes are just going to blow away. <laughs> We're going to be all right. I've had those days, and you know, just one eyelash, just, you just go with it. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> well, thank you, Bridget. New at 10, social media has more impact on teens than we think. Sometimes it can make them fear for their own safety. And here in Texas, one school is dealing with an incident involving racial threats and the social media platform Snapchat. ABC's Petrina Adger has more on this investigation. I spoke to a 16-year-old who says she hasn't been to school in two days, saying she fears for her life after a message saying, all N-words must hang. Yeah, this is a, a threat. You know, a huge threat about hanging the N-word. Tiffany Seidler says her stomach dropped when she saw this social media group chat among white students at East Bernard High School. Well, it was supposed to be about prom, but it just ended up being racist. 16-year-old Tyra getting a heads up from a friend who was in the thread Monday when five to six students were discussing a party bus for their February 5th prom. One student responded to the thread saying no black people were allowed. Another student responding amen. Then this message from one student saying all all N-words must hang with a follow-up message, what he said. We blurred the names of the students involved as well as the language used. She's supposed to go to school to learn, not be afraid to go to school because they're talking about hanging. You know, that, that's a huge threat. I just feel uncomfortable being there now because that's a threat, but... I just don't want to go to that school anymore. The messages screenshot and shared to other students and parents demanding something be done. Tyra fearing backlash from a student body where she says blacks are outnumbered. The district superintendent didn't return my calls for comment, but we found this statement on the school's website saying in part, the district was made aware of the group chat Monday evening. A full investigation began immediately the next morning and continued Wednesday. Students involved with the group chat and racist hate speech are are receiving disciplinary measures in accordance with the student code of conduct. These measures are confidential. As for whether Tyra will go to the prom. Parents are telling them they can't go because of the threat. They think something's going to happen at prom and I don't even think I want to go anymore. Now we go to sports. Now with Cameron Stewart. Cameron, the Cowboys didn't make it easy on their fans today, did they? I mean, do they ever? Really? No. But these are how these divisional games usually go, especially when you're both battling for the division title this late in the season. Nothing is going to come easy. The Cowboys are up in Landover today, first quarter. They're up 3 nothing, And a tip drill. Welcome back, Randy Gregory, his first career pick. And what a way to do it. Let's take another look at it. Athletic play here. As he turns around and is able to make it, Cowboys looking to cash in. Dak looking to throw and says, well, that's straight cash, homie. Amari Cooper with the grab, 11-0 Dallas. Fourth down here for Washington, and Taylor Heineke is a sitting duck. Micah Parsons invades the pond and gets the strip sack. Dorrance Armstrong picks it up, and he and his buddies are going on a little ride to the end zone. 18-0 Cowboys all over it. 
and Tyler Heineke's all over the floor at this point. And as we go to the third quarter, 24 nothing is the score. And Heineke out of the pocket, looking deep for Cam Sims. It is caught over Trayvon Diggs. And they initially rule it an incomplete pass. But upon further review, Sims gets that knee down inbounds, which is equivalent to two feet in the NFL. So it does get overturned for a touchdown. Cowboys looking to run this thing out, need a first down, but it's picked off. They were up two scores, but Cole Holcomb gets hit right in the hands, and he takes it back for a 31-yard touchdown. And hold the phone. We have got a game on our hands. Kyle Allen now into the game for Heineke, looking to... Just give Washington a shot here, but it's a fumble. He didn't hold on to the ball. You need to hold on to that. He doesn't hold on, but the Cowboys do. Dallas wins it 27-20. to So the Cowboys pick up a crucial NFC East win that really puts them in the driver's seat for the division title, but it wasn't easy, as you saw. Our insider, Mickey Spagnola, breaks down what he saw in this one. First, the Dallas Cowboys took your breath away. And then they caused you to hold your breath before they wrapped up a 27-20 victory over Washington on Sunday at FedEx Field. But in the end, Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy was a man of his word when he said he was confident the Cowboys would go up to Washington and win the game as they stretched their record to 9-4 and four and now hold a three-game lead in the NFC East over Washington and Philadelphia and as important, has a, they have a 3-0 and o record in the NFC East. And just the way we figured they'd win the game, right? With defense, and the Cowboys put the big D back in defense. Welcome back, Randy Gregory. He ends up with a pick, a strip sack at the end to seal the game. Take Micah Parsons. He has two sacks. One, a forced fumble uh, that was returned for a touchdown. In all, the Cowboys finished with five sacks, four more takeaways. That's eight in the last two games, shutting down Washington in the first half for no points and just 29 yards. Defense saved the day for the Dallas Cowboys. For the Silver Star Nation, I'm Mickey Spagnola. And we've seen a whole slew of coaches changing teams the last few weeks. And UT has their coach, no problem there. But they wanted to get in on the fun of bringing in new blood. Tonight, they made a big splash as quarterback Quinn Ewers has committed to play for the Longhorns. Ewers was the top high school quarterback recruit in 2021, and he's announced he's going to play for Steve Sarkeesian in Austin. Ewers made a shock announcement in the summer, skipping his senior year of high school at South Lake Carroll to enroll early and play at Ohio State. Ewers backed up C.J. Stroud this season, and all Stroud did was lead the Buckeyes to a 10-2 record and was a Heisman finalist. The quarterback joins the Longhorn team in complete disarray. They finished seven and, or f five and seven this season. Ewers also considered TCU and Texas Tech. So Cameron, that's a big commitment. Does this mean uh, Texas is finally back? Well, that is always the age-old question, Rob. I don't know if we can go that far yet. I think we need to see it play out first. Texas fans, beware. And also, Cowboys bringing in their own benches to Washington I for like the game. That. Bold move. Worked he, out for them. Look good, feel good, play good, right? Yes, Something sir. like that for that? Uh, yeah, it works out. Well, right, thank you, Cameron. Of course. This time of year, holidays don't always give people joy. Coming up next, we'll talk about seasonal depression and the best ways to help those affected. And as we head to break, a reminder that if you see news happening, share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure you use the hashtag ABCBigTeamNews. And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABC Big Team News. Midland Medical Lodge. It's not just a place to live. It's a place to call home. 
Give your team and family a fond memory with a Christmas celebration at the MCM Elegante Hotel and Spa. Recognition will go a long way to boost morale. The MCM Elegante offers affordable luxury with decadent plated dinners featuring holiday favorites like steak and ham or a buffet. Guests will love our beautiful decor and expandable dance floor. Dessert will be memorable with more than 10 different options made by our own chef or enjoy a favorite like our hot chocolate bar. The MCM Elegante Hotel, affordable luxury. Shop Allen's Gallery this Christmas for the best selection and best prices in West Texas. Recliners, sofas, love seats, dining room tables, appliances, and so much more. Give the gift of a good night's sleep from Allen's Gallery, plus 12 months, no interest financing, and free delivery within 100 miles. We won't stop until the last delivery's done on Christmas Eve. Come see why we say, wow! I have something for you. Hi. <laughs> I have something for you, too. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on these GMC models. We are professional grade. GMC. Watch Wellness Wednesday with Dr. Beck from Westex on Good Morning Basin. Well, this time of year, it can be difficult to be happy during the holidays. ABC Big Two's Bridget Sarpong spoke with local experts about seasonal depression and ways to overcome it. I love this. I love holidays. But not everyone around the holiday season feels bright and merry. Seasonal depression is a thing. Amanda Paul Vince with the Permian Basin Out of the Darkness Walk says, Suicide happens all year long, but seasonal affective disorder is one form of depression that can lead to suicide and occurs during one particular season of the year, the holidays. It comes from the anxiety and the overwhelmingness of Christmas. According to the latest data from the National Institute of Mental Health, around 19.4 million Americans experience this disorder, and every year the highest is among women. Women are four times more likely to be diagnosed with seasonal depression. As wives and mothers, we carry the load of making sure the presents are done, and the house is clean, and the food is cooked, and the table is set, and you know, we, we bear the main load. She says seasonal depression may be mild in our loved ones, but it can also be severe, and there are many signs to look for. If they start giving away their most prized possessions, you know, that's kind of another simple sign. Um, withdrawing from things that they normally love, because, you know, there's some people who aren't really into a lot of things, but there's one thing that you know they're always into, and if they kind of step back from that, that's a, you know, kind of sign that they're struggling. But also, words are just as important. They may voice it, you know, that they are considering harming themselves, so that's not as common, but if that happens, take it seriously. Offense says to decrease seasonal depression, it starts with sleep. That is such an important thing. If you're tired, everything seems worse. Also, your diet plays a role. You may not be hungry because you're, you're in a slump, but when you do eat, make sure that you eat healthy things. And like I said, things that are rich in vitamin D to help you replenish that resource that is not here during the summer. She even emphasizes the importance of patience during the holiday season. Every day you start over with a fresh start, you know, um, give yourself the patience that you would give somebody else. And that was Bridget Sharpong reporting. Thank you, Bridget. Inflation is rising to record levels nationwide, but especially here in Texas. And that's right, and that impact can be seen in our everyday lives, whether in the grocery store aisle or on the construction site. Our Daniel Marin shows us how the current administration is responding tonight. You've probably noticed consumer prices are on the rise, and they are. November saw the highest annual inflation from the previous year since June of 1982. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Consumer Price Index is up 6.8% compared to this time last year. People coming out of the pandemic, trying to find a way to re-engage, and that is what has caused a rise in demand. Experts say that rise in demand, along with high energy costs, gas prices, and the supply chain chaos, has sent inflation soaring. And it's not just consumers having to make tough choices, so are retailers. Some retailers are adjusting prices, others are reducing their margins in order to maintain prices and maintain market share. It's a real bump in the road 
During his closing remarks at Friday's Summit for Democracy, President Biden discussed inflation and its effect on families while also urging passage of his Build Back Better plan to lower prices. The president, who has taken a hit in the polls, acknowledged supply chain concerns and said his administration is still working to improve things. When you walk in the grocery store and you're paying more for whatever you're purchasing, it matters. In the meantime, the people who are willing to pay the higher price get the product. It's dramatic footage of a driver gone wild. Up next, why police say one man sped down a sidewalk. BC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Valles and Enderman Injury Lawyers. You've seen the headlines. A holiday crime wave ripping across America. Who is really behind these blatant robberies? And just how big is this problem? All this week, News Nation goes in-depth with law enforcement nationwide and answers your questions. The trends they're seeing, the innovative ways retailers are fighting back, and how to protect your family. Our special coverage, Holidays on Alert. All this this week on Morning in America and across all News Nation platforms. It's time with our families and with our friends. It's what we love. We are Cavenders, and this is how we live. There's something for everyone on your list during Cavender's Christmas Countdown Sale. Right now, you can get 10 bucks off men's and ladies' jeans by Ariat, Cinch, Rock and Roll Denim, and more. Going on now at Cavender's. There are so many reasons to give this holiday season, but they are the number one reason we give back every year with your help. Join Carpet Tech for our annual holiday toy drive benefiting Buckner Midland. When you give a toy, we'll give you a free room of carpet cleaning. Help us give back this season. We'll pick up your donation and give you a free room of carpet cleaning with the purchase of another. Schedule your BOGO carpet cleaning with your toy donation. Because we're the number one reason. This might look like a cliffhanger. But this is a Nissan sales event ad. There's something to hold on to. This is the part where I rush to save the day. Wow, what a ride. Hurry in and save up to 4262 on select models. Better bring that home for the holidays. A dramatic new video tonight shows police in New York City opening fire on a car during a wild pursuit. At one point, the car jumps up on the sidewalk, as you can see, sending people scrambling to get out the way. Now, this happened back in October after police attempted to pull over a BMW that was connected to armed robberies targeting people at restaurants. The 19-year-old driver was eventually arrested. He is expected to be okay. Coming up after the break, Bridget will have a last look on the forecast. Stay tuned. Professionally trained account executives help businesses get results through advertising. We are a results-driven team. Our ABC Big Two account executives love helping your business tell your story to over a half a million people in West Texas. We want to be your marketing partner. We're on fire about growing your business. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going swimming! We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers may also be eligible to get 0% financing on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, you may qualify for $500 bonus cash when you find your red tag. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's 6 a.m. here on 109.3 K. Morning. Hey. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Smells great. Doesn't it? Good night. Good night. There's nothing like starting your day with a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, a sausage McMuffin with egg, or a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles, and pair them with a $1 small premium roast coffee. 
When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's working hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Remarkable women are all around us. And ABC Big 2 wants to help you recognize the remarkable woman in your life. Nominate a remarkable woman from your community at yourbasin.com and join ABC Big 2 in recognizing remarkable women in our community.